Good morning guys, so this is it, day two of the Prawna how to style video shooting. Uh, two weeks ago, I headed into London to do this exact same process and film some really cool looks with Prawn. These videos are gonna be used on Prawn's website and it's gonna be basically a modern twist on the iconic how to style videos. So I've decided that I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and we're gonna do some behind the scenes and I'm gonna show you what I get up to on a shoot day of what I would class as quite a large scale. This is a commercial scale shoot, so it's a very big deal for me. Last week I was extremely nervous. Uh, I feel a lot more relaxed now. The team are absolutely lovely, really, really easy to work with. So we have another day of filming. We're gonna be doing two looks today. The first look we're gonna be doing is the stubble, and then the second look is the chin strap. We've already achieved the goatee and the mustache, but yeah, taxis outside. You guys are gonna come along with me. It's currently 6 a.m., so we've got an early start, but I'm raring and ready to go, so let's do this. So we're here on set, we've had a good start to the morning. We've been very productive today. Uh, I feel like the whole crew have got used to the space and we're working it really, really well. But I thought I'd quickly give you a tour on the studio setup at the moment. So back behind us where you can see lots of people standing, that was the kitchen setup. So that's where we filmed the opening uh, to the designer stubble. And then just here behind me, this is where we're gonna be filming the opening to the chin strap look and then we're gonna get busy shaving. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and I'm gonna show you guys what the studio space looks like uh, and the setup here. So to start off this is our sun which is projecting through the window which windows here are absolutely stunning they've got like marble worktops really nice big bay windows and then this is the setup so we've got studio setup here the tables and then over here is the mirror space it's like the bathroom setup and then over here is the kitchen setup and action and <laughs> And this is the kitchen area here. Where's Ali going? Beautiful. So we've just finished off filming the intro sections to the two videos today and we're now going to start doing the bathroom scene. So this is where I'm actually going to be shaving my beard and creating the looks with a worn BT3040 trimmer. So we're going to get cracking but as you can see behind me the set has been completely moved around. This is where the sofa area was a second ago and we're going to be reworking the whole set to the bathroom section. Just behind me there. And then if I walk through here you can see we've got some new lights going up on the ceiling and then we're doing some light tests over here which is the bathroom section so this is where we're going to be filming the shaving routine here he is this looks like a serious conversation <laughs> and this is the kitchen area where we're filming earlier and these are the mood boards that tell us what we've got to do so in this one? Yes, mate. I thought it's nice to do it in my Come straight to the Let me check with the other side. I'll go down to Jeremy and that. So basically, the idea is. Here he goes. George, you need a few extra models now, aren't you? Hey. Look at that. Paul Baroulis, the director, is absolutely amazing. He's been here making sure that all of the shots have been looking on fleek and perfect. But we've come to the conclusion that we're going to be ending the dialogue in the mirror and then the rest is going to be completed with voiceover. It was a good, was a good meeting here. Are you happy yeah, with it? Yeah, very happy, very happy. It's a success. You made me look really brown. <laughs> it's a good camera, isn't it? 
So it's very quiet in here now because everybody's gone downstairs for lunch But I thought this would be the perfect opportunity just to take five minutes to talk you through the beard trimmer that we're using to actually film these how-to videos. So today we're using the Braun BT 3040 beard trimmer, which has 39 length settings from one millimeter to 21 millimeters, stopping at 0.5 millimeters per change. The beard trimmer actually has two detachable combs to give you full control on your precision trimming. It also has fully washable heads and blades and with a full charge, you get an hour out of this trimmer. So you're very likely to not get caught short when you're doing your grooming. So really, really good tool and something that I found that I absolutely love about this during the filming of this on the previous weeks that we filmed these videos is it doesn't leave me with any irritation. Now, something that probably a lot of you guys will find when you're trimming your beards is you get a bit of irritation on the skin, but the blades on these are super sharp. They're lifetime long lasting blades and they've just left my skin with no irritation at all. So I'm really, really impressed actually with the beard trimmer. It cuts really cleanly, really effortlessly. So this is the trimmer. As you can see, it's uh, very sleek in its design, very in line with Braun's normal style of trimmer with the blue and black detailing. But as you can see on the top here, here is the dial where you have the flexibility of controlling your length, your desired look, and the blade comb literally just pops on the back and then sits on to give you even more control over your style. So yeah, that's the trimmer that we're using in today's video. And this is the set. As you can see, they've got one of the red cams waiting. Uh, to shoot the next scene because we are going to be trimming off the beard after lunch So yeah, I just thought I would take five minutes to show you through the tool that's being used in these videos because it really is an Incredible piece of kit, but I'm gonna head downstairs now and get some lunch with the rest of the guys and get refueled ready for an afternoon of filming Everyone clear away, please yeah. Yeah. Oh, So, so this is the first look. Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah. So this is the first look um, that we've created today. Yes. This is the stubble look. Very popular. Something that I actually sport a lot. Uh, it's my go-to beard. It's really easy to achieve. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with the video we've created and how to achieve this look because it's so easy and so maintainable. Uh, and so yeah, it's been a good one to film. Felt very much at home filming it. But we're just currently filling up the sink. There we yeah. go.
There we have it. It is officially a wrap. The Braun How To videos have been officially filmed and what an incredible experience that was. I feel so privileged to have been a part of something so exciting and to have had the opportunity to work with such an incredible team. There's been so many people involved from the very beginning to the end of this sort of like production line and everybody's been such a pleasure to work with. Working on a set this big was quite daunting at the start but Today I just felt completely relaxed and at home and it was so much fun. So I would absolutely love it for you guys to head over to the Braun website because the videos are now live to check out the videos that we created that day because so much time and energy went into each and every single shot. I knew that a lot of work went into this kind of stuff but it was just on another scale. During our time on set we did create four looks for you guys to go and check out and one of those looks was, of course, the stubble, which you'll be familiar with because I wear it a lot. It's my go-to beard. I find it really easy to wear and maintain, and I just really like the style. I think it's probably the most diverse style as well. It suits the majority, if not all, face shapes. And some of the looks we did, like the moustache and the goatee, those styles don't fit every face shapes. They're very bold statement beards, but nonetheless had so much fun filming them and experimenting. The Braun BT3040 trimmer, which was used during the filming of this, uh, is a tool that's just shown that it has complete diverse flexibility and it gives you full control of your beard. And I really enjoyed using the new technology. So I'll be leaving a link to that product in the description box, as well as the how-to video. So I'd absolutely love it if you guys go over there and check it out because like I keep on saying it was just amazing and being able to collaborate with Braun is an absolute dream um, they're an amazing company uh, that produce amazing tools so it's been an absolute pleasure to work with those guys but I'm back home now I've got my baby face back uh, I'm gonna be growing this out for the next couple of weeks and yeah I just wanted to say that I hope you did enjoy this behind the scenes footage of uh, the second day shooting these videos and um, I'm going to love you and leave you. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.